Here we go. It's starting to work. Hello. What up guys, JK Dream Moon, and today, yes, I know, I know, I haven't built a dial in a while, but today, I am building a dial. And I'm going to show you guys the first piece to the inspiration of this build today. Boom. What you see here is called a sector. And the sector is from the Turtles Part 3. This is Turtles in Time. You guys would recognize this from the movie. This is the time traveling sector that allows them to travel back in time to the age of uh, Shogun in Japan. So, and today's build is going to be a Japanese dojo. So, besides that, I'm going to have a nice surprise for you guys at the end. But, that's all I'm going to tell you guys. So, let's get to it. All right, guys, I jumped straight to it. I started building this before I even was have it, started to record. So um, this is where I'm at. So what I'm doing right now is that this is going to be the stairway, right? And then this is going to be the upper level of the actual um, this is a Japanese house. And so this is going to be all stone. And then these are going to be cut into stones. And then this right here is going to be just like grass and dirt. And then this will be the actual house. So this is where I'm at right now. It's not bad. It's not bad. Alright guys, so I'm, I'm currently right now still carving and trying different techniques. And I'm gonna start off with a, with a clean one, right? There's nothing on this. All I'm doing is just brushing it. You go deeper and harder just to get those cool imperfections. Alright guys, so yeah, so this is the inspiration of, you know, this is what I sketched out, alright, and this is what I got right now, alright, so what I ended up doing is I started, I ended up using just for this part, of uh, project foam, and then for the back, poster foam, and everything is magnetic, everything comes off, and I think this is going in the right direction, uh, I was mostly focusing on the carving, and uh, and then just making sure everything is magnetized so everything is magnetized right now. Okay. So every single piece magnetized. So next up, start, you know, adding the prime. Make I'm gonna paint all this black and then I'm gonna start painting. That's the way this is. <clears throat> well, that's all folks.
guys so now next up is going to be the ground but uh before i even start painting what i'm what i found going to michael's was this kind of like corkscrew sheet I'm, I'm gonna do some treatment to all of this and I'm gonna glue it first but then I'm gonna spray paint it so you remember my other episode spray paint does eat the foam so it's gonna I'm gonna expect that type of reaction to all of this and then I could go into it by adding rocks and then gluing wheats and a little bit of grass particles really filling this line so I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start adding grass right but I'm gonna go over it with the airbrush but I just want to get that, some nice pattern going on um, to make this area look a little bit more natural a little bit more random so right, I'm gonna play with turf so I'm gonna just start using the adhesive to kind of just start adding some details here So you see here, I went ahead and I used some moss and I just basically dabbed it while I was gluing it. It started, you know, in, in layers, it started just dabbing, just dabbing. I did do a layer earlier of um, kind of like a, a, a wash of dark brown. So it has like a tint of brown already. But I want to start adding highlights. So I'm, I'm going to go first with the a base of brown and then go over it with a lighter brown to give it them highlights so so right now this is good for now and I'm um, gonna go and apply this to the rest of them So I'm done dry brushing. Actually, off the camera, I did um, a matte finish on it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some dry, uh, some black wash, but I'm going to make it a little bit more of a brown wash. So yeah, I decided to cut some rope, and what I want to do is now wrap beams I should do like a little wash on it see how it turns out we'll check it out came out pretty good and now I'm gonna use this as a wallpaper for the outside exterior of the dojo So next up, I feel like I'm gonna um, I wanna add some airbrushing and add some browns. More age, I guess, you know. Like this been here for a long time and not so clean cut, you know. So 
what I'm doing next is that <clears throat> I might need some shadowing and some dirt to the wood. I feel like it just looked too cartoony. So, so put a bit of black wash and then pull. You keep on doing that same method over and over again until you're satisfied with what you got. Drop of black felt on this white beautiful paper. So I have to improvise. So what I did is I dried it up a little bit and tried to wash as much as I can and it was really there. So what I did is I turned it into like cracks. So it's almost like a hole in the wall. This piece right here is the door. I haven't cut, I haven't done anything yet with it. Um, trying to figure out pattern now. Like I said, I've been thrift shopping, so I found these dinner mats. So what I'm gonna do is cut it to be the size of this piece. I already went ahead with an exacto knife, and I already cut a piece. Glue these pieces, paint it. So I'm pretty satisfied with how it came out. So now I just gotta make sure it fits. And it fits, look at that, awesome. So now that I'm satisfied with how it looks, I can go forward with painting this. Alrighty, so, all right, so this is, this is what it is right now. Look decent, looks decent. And you know what I'm gonna do, guys. What am I gonna do first? You don't know what I'm gonna do because I always flip it around and I don't really follow the rules. So, if there's any rules. So, first I'm gonna do is just do a black wash just to kind of see what kind of outcome I get by doing that. Pretty dope. <clears throat> All right, guys. So next up, next up. Um, I was while I was doing my research. I saw a detail that I really liked, and they're called Japanese prayer notes. Now I had a hard time finding prayer notes that had the meaning of what it was saying. So so instead, I created my own document and printed them out. And guys, if you guys can read Japanese. Please correct me if I'm wrong, okay? So from from what I've gathered, so this means the seven virtues of Bushido, the way of the of the warrior, right? And then this means Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I mean like scroll type of banners coming down. And then the rest of them, the little ones, are gonna be um, prayer notes. Prayer notes. These guys are gonna be prayer notes, and I'm gonna Put them all over the dial. Usually they're they're by the beams. One is I'm gonna I cut out the the calligraphy and I'm gonna put it in the middle. So if you ever buy rolls like cones, they come with these guys in the middle, right? It's it's basically just like a cardboard cylinder, right? To keep it from bending. So with that being said, I decided to cut them into smaller pieces so that I can make a scroll. One finishing touch before I reveal this build and I was going outside collecting leaves because I'm gonna make leaves. Let's do this. I can't really feel 100% without feeling complete. So I kind of want to experiment with creating a roof. I already started cutting these, I guess you want to call them like brackets. 
that they're gonna be on the corner that's gonna sit on top of the, the back wall. I actually have Velcro. I have Velcro and I forgot that I have Velcro and I've been wanting to use it, use a sheet of paper as a lever. Okay. And I'm gonna fold this guy. All right, gonna be put right there. Okay. And then the other piece. So I got this new tool, a little mini table saw. So I got these popsicle sticks. And I got I got a whole bunch of them, and I'm just gonna cut them off in this line that I made. So I can make the roof. All right. Motherfucker is scary. <laughs> Motherfucker is scary. Well, I got a lot done. <laughs> this little guy is actually pretty cool. He's, just, he's mostly for hobby because he's not that strong, but good enough for cutting uh, wood <laughs> or popsicle sticks. good now I just gotta go paint it up so one more task and basically I'm not gonna show you guys all of this because it's the same thing I'm gonna wash it and I'm gonna dry brush it I'm gonna wash it and then dry brush it and then that's it it'll be done so let's get to the review This dial is done. And guys, I've been keeping this project a secret because it's actually real special to me. And also, there's two individuals that inspire me to making this dial. And I'm gonna give a shout out to my two homeboys, Tanuki Ninja and Longshore Spike. These two are badass in our community. Tanuki Ninja is a badass at modding figures. And he was the one that inspired me to making samurai outfits he actually made uh mikey first and he is a perfectionist so like the guy is making everything fit i'm doing the best that i can because i'm not really that good at modding figs i'm more of a dial person but with his help i was able to i was able to make these figures the outfits were hard to find and i've been hunting them for quite some time now like probably close to six months and finally, I got the outfits for a good price. 
and I'm improving them every time. Every time I get a chance, I try to improve their outfits. So like, for, for instance, as you can see here, Mikey, he has the actual samurai face mask. The other ones don't. Uh, also, I want to add uh, some, some Japanese sandals for all of them. And then I want to make the straps and the saddles for the horses. So in regards to the figures, it's not, it's not complete. It's, they still got a lot of work. But for the dial, it's more than perfect. And then also, long for Spike, the guy is a badass at making anything with wood. He makes awesome like accessories and props for our for our collections. And so he made me the sector. And I was impressed. I was like, damn, badass, badass. So guys, hit those guys up. They're on Instagram and they're awesome people. They're really friendly and they're positive and we all we all share secrets just because we love this freaking hobby of ours. So that's enough of the figures. Now let's get to the dial. Now the dial is inspired by many things. It's inspired by the movie, right? The Turtles 3, Turtles in Time. But also all the details that you're seeing are also inspired by a video game that I play a lot. It's Sekiro, The Shadow that Dies Twice. It's a samurai uh, quest game and it's hard as hell. And But if you guys play it, the scenery, the world that they built, man like the detail is just so amazing so i got inspired by that video game um by adding like you know the leaves adding the prayer notes i made a scroll for the first time never made a scroll uh, and then also you guys are wondering like i didn't talk about it or i didn't show it in the video i have these lamps now these lamps i ended up getting them at a thrift store it's actually a christmas light and these are the actual ornaments that are attached to it. So I was able to, I have a whole bunch of these. So I was able to just extract them and then actually install on each of them a, um, a battery operated LED light. So they're actually really tiny. That gives me the ability to do this. Pretty badass, right? So this is an awesome addition, awesome addition. <clears throat> also, you guys saw in the video, the door. The door is made out of a dinner uh mat and man it came out good i was happy really happy with that so guys check out thrift stores man you can find a lot of treasures that you, if you could actually foresee like potential in a, in an item for a, for a project yo why not right as also one of the things that i wanted to do is that i wanted to take everything that i've taught in this channel and put it into one build Okay, what I mean by that, I mean talking about different carving techniques, using all the different types of foam, also using different types of magnets, also using different painting applications. All of my painting applications, from painting, from dry brushing, from black washing, from matting, everything, everything. And then including in this in this project for the first time I got a table saw so I was able to use popsicle sticks for my roof so this dial is just a combination of everything that I've ever um, taught in this or showed you guys in this channel and also an additional things that I'm still trying to master so so I think that's like everything everything that I, I could show you guys is in this build um, it does come apart now i'm just not really in the mood to show i'm not i'm just not really trying to take this one apart not that i can't take it apart it's just this video is pretty long <laughs> so i want to keep it short uh but yeah it comes apart everything's magnetic and so guys this is it this is my japanese dojo for my turtles 3 for turtles in time and guys let me know what you think of this build hit that like button and if you haven't please subscribe peace